All right, toothpaste. Good things happen to those who leave no trace. Let's go out, back out into the world, see what's happening today. spot back there in the bushes I didn't even realize this was here it's like a football pitches and it's obviously a sports club or maybe a school that has that so I'm gonna go into Kilrush town have a coffee something to eat and then I'm gonna walk to the Kalimer ferry because I crossed the Shannon today and that goes every half hour I think it only takes like 10 minutes to cross the river and I'll be in County Kerry. So that's the story for today. The power of love, the force from above. I got my coffee and breakfast. And I'm gonna walk out of town here because it looks like it might rain. I wanna reach the forest area and sit down and enjoy this. I've been passing people every now and again over the last few days that are out for a walk by themselves. And it looks as though they're just out for the walk. They're not going anywhere in particular, which is great to see. But I can't help but notice these people often look quite solemn, sad, perhaps a little caught up in their troubles, which is fine. But it, it always strikes me when this happens on my walks around Ireland, because this isn't the first time I've taken a trip like this, that people are indeed obsessed and caught up in their own world and so much that they don't even know that you're even there. As John O'Donoghue would put it, people are walking around with a whole world inside of them that no one will ever truly know. And I'm saying this because it's a bit of a metaphor for life because we're always thinking what other people think. In the case of a trip like this, people are worried about being attacked, coming into danger, often at the hands of another person. And yet all I experience from actually doing this over and over is people being kind, people being generous, people being friendly, or people being caught up in their own world. And so much that they don't even notice them passing through. <laughs> you know? And this is not obviously what you're sold on television or anything mainstream, of course. No one wants to tell you, it seems, about all the good things that are happening in the world right now and all the good people doing good things. Okay, that sign on the right there says Kalimer which is the ferry, but I'm going to stick to this back road here, which is likely to have no traffic. If we took a holiday, dee -dee -dee -dee. <laughs> took some time to celebrate, dee -dee 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 -dee. it would be it would be so nice. <laughs> holiday. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Holiday. It's the River Shannon. On the other side there, that be County Kerry. The Kingdom of Kerry. You can turn this world around ba -ba -na, ba -ba -na. Bring back those happy days ba -ba -na, ba -ba -na. You can put your troubles down It's time to celebrate Holiday It will be alright Celebrate I think I'll be the only person walking onto the, onto the ferry You pay when you get onto it 
This is where they ship all the drugs across the Shannon. <laughs> really does feel like going on holiday. There's a car broke down on the ferry and there's a tractor trying to pull it off the ferry but now the tractor's trying to pull it back onto the ferry because they can't get it all the way off the ferry. <laughs> I love how the registration on this tractor is 84 CE which is Claire. It's like you'd think a, a, a new tractor would be doing this job. Just as I was getting on the ferry, the chap who takes the cars on and off the ferry recognised me, Robbie Shannon, watches the videos and <laughs> terrible nice fella, he's asked if I want to use the microwave in the kitchen, I want to make a cup of coffee. <laughs> Good to meet you, anyway, yeah you too, thanks for your hospitality. Oh, no, brother. Oh, sure, if we could wait for the men walk and charge a quarter rent, then I know what it's like. Yeah, <laughs> life is hard enough for me, isn't oh, it? Oh, Jesus. You know this bit is easier than you're oh, yeah. Go, 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 go. <laughs> the soundest, nicest people that ever ran a boat. Barry is the captain. Robbie's escorting people on and off there, including myself. And that is the Shannon Ferry. This is a very old courthouse and jail in Tarbert, just as you come off the ferry. How about that Kerry? The first thing you see when you step off the boat is a prison. <laughs> Here we are now. This is where we'll have to make a decision. Trilly, Lestole, Ballybunion. It's the local hairdresser here. Hair by Mary. a lot of character in these towns no, however small they are some of them it's often the case that the smaller the town the more character it has and as with Ennis Timon last week I'm noticing more and more these towns are very well preserved the shop fronts etc even if the shops are closed are painted and preserved restored it's great to see Take a look at this, Bally Longford GAA Club. So this is uh, Gaelic is one of the national sports in Ireland. It's just phenomenal. I assume this is a fairly small club, but look at the facilities they've built around the game in this town. Incredible. You have the grandstand and then also down here you have this makeshift terrace. Very impressive isn't it? So Gaelic football and hurling would be the two national sports in Ireland. And if you like Gaelic football would be the equivalent of American football in the US. Or Aussie rules in Australia or ice hockey in Canada. Here we are. There's a little detour for you. 
It's amazing how this is hidden down a tiny laneway here. And on we go with our journey, folks. The show must go on. So I was on the, on the way to Bally Bunyan Beach and the coastline where I was hoping to camp for tonight. But when it became apparent that I wasn't gonna reach there and because I wanted to rest in the morning, I decided to turn south. So I'm now headed toward this stole where I think I will reach for tonight and be able to rest again there tomorrow morning. Bring me a thing inner desire to be who I was or it could be the most disappointing news that would break your heart so we're on a threshold and the name of the threshold is total fragility 